what's up guys welcome back to lion mark tv mark here with another exciting delighting and much interesting video here on the channel you know we all know that um if peter b must win 2023 election he has to do a whole lot of campaign in the northern part of nigeria and yes that's like going grassroots level to do his campaign in the north anyway he was with the emir of kano and the talk for a very long time concerning policies and to me i see it more of like a campaign a kickoff campaign from the northern part of nigeria to him and his party against the 2023 elect election enjoy the highlight don't forget to subscribe drop a comment in the comment section below I'm not going to step down for anybody. I want to, I want to give opportunity, future, to the youths of Nigeria. The youths of Nigeria are energetic, are talented. If they can find a leader today that can believe in them, Train them, which is human capital I'm talking about. Invest in them, which is what I said, access to capital. They can change the world. I want to build a better future for the youth and the children of Nigeria. All our candidates are part of yesterday and part of tomorrow. And those who think about yesterday and today will miss tomorrow. I want to do the better tomorrow for a united Nigeria where everybody will be happy. So, I made a heaven and some bad. I see one of our code. One of the eight is I. That any one the Yakamata Mutari is who was a center. I am as a year. One of the one but in the Allah Chiwa Jahar Naja Tana da Marabba in kilometer Zubu Upur Halibu. When the Inca Hata Tada Kasan Netherlands Tai B the Rabun Kilman Kasan Netherlands in Kachiri Yoam Uada no could be the sorrows of Tekish. Which am I? Could end the Sakasam in Shigada to protect the Kayan Masana and two. The no no matter so also since I move in Shiga Della Billion Shida. One that's in Della Billion Shida now, Della Billion a leader a sharon. How I take it in Kayan and over the two no more. So you don't cut over the air, no one. The <laughs> Someone, 
ga Najeriya ga baki daya ba kudu ba domin mai da yana karewa amma babu ran da zaka tashi ka ce yau ka tashi an nada gona ka kane inda take ka rasa saboda haka zai mai da hankali wajen harkar noma wanda kuma noman nan zai karfafa matasan mu ne ya kokari ya habata bankin noma wato bank of agric wanda yake a tunanin sa shi ya kasance ya fi kowane banki samun jari da kuma karfi da zaman sa da gindin sa a kasar mu ta Najeriya zai amfani kuma da wannan ya ba da jari da taki da kuma abubuwa na fasaha na ayyuka wanda za a tabbatar an canja fuskar yadda ake yin noma tare da kasar Darjeon wacce ma wanda yake in ka dauki kasar Borno jihar Borno to ta in ka hada ta da kasar Darjeon da Isra'ila fadin kasar da ake noma a jihar Borno ya linka nasu wanda kuma su ma Shukuma yace shi bai da cewa matasan Najeriya ce na zo na bane yaya da cewa suna da jajircewa suna da kokari suna da tunani fiye da yadda ake tunanin su zai mai da hankali yaya da su shi ma yana son wannan matasa su yadda da shi domin zai canja rayuwar su zai ba su ilimi zai ba su jari zai kuma samu su aiki ne sannan yace wadannan mutane mana sa kirki da suke sata mutane suke kashe kashe a jihar Naija zai mutane ne wanda in aka samu musu aikin ni aka gyara tunanin su to za su dawo su zama mutane na gari kuma su zo su gina al'umma ta gari sannan kuma mu hada kasa wanda kowa zai alfahari um the most qualified to start to engage in I said before, the election will be based on character and Julia's character. All of us are going to say nice things, but who do we trust that what is said is what he will do? Can we verify? whether they've done that in the past, go to an ambassador. Things that I promised, I delivered it. And I'm telling Nigeria, it will be based on competence, on capacity. This is a job that requires physical and mental energy. And I'm ready for it. Have an idea. It is the first land we have in the north. And I know how to start turning these assets into production and creating employment for the vast people. And I've given examples everywhere. If you go today and see the vast land you have in the north, one state in the north, what's one state in the north? I always say, can fit Nigeria. Niger state. Niger state of 76.3 thousand square kilometers of land. And today, 
Those lands are not cultivated. Those lands are not supported. About half of the Niger states are in hands of bandits. And there are people you can convert, they become productive. Niger State is twice the size of Netherlands, if you might not sort, that's the 30,000 square kilometers. If you add, so it's two and a half times Netherlands. Netherlands total export last year is about 600 and something billion dollars. Agricultural product is 120 billion dollars. The Niger State can do just 1%. Is 1.2 billion dollars. If you multiply with the rate of exchange today, it's about five times the budget of Niger State. If you take a state like Bururu State, it's 70.9 thousand square kilometers of land. You can go on and on. Another. Taraba is 54.4 thousand square kilometers. Taraba State alone is bigger than Belgium and Israel put together. Belgium is 30.9 thousand square kilometers. Israel is 22.1. Two of them combined, it's not up to Taraba. But two of them combined, total export last year is, is over. 300. Adam, the Nakasina. Do one the the ni na zo ne aiki kuma shugabanci sadaukar da kai ne saboda haka na yi abin da na gama na tafi babu wata hujja da za a ce bayan bana gumna za a rinda daukan al'umma ana a ce wannan zuciyarsa ba ta kwanta masa da shi ba kuma bai yarda wannan abin cewa in yi wannan abin da rashin gaskiya ba saboda haka yi soke wannan doka kuma dai bar
in wannan abubuwa da yana rufin amana shi zai zo ya kwatanta shi a shugaban kasa yace kuma in ya gama fatan sa shine in ya retire ko ya bar aikin shugabancin kasa ya taho arewa kuma ya zo Kano kuma ya zauna a cikin al'umar jahar Kano kuma ji al'umar jahar Kano su rungume shi a matsayin sa na shugaban kasar Najeriya wanda ya tausaya musu ba a matsayin sa na Krista ko Ibo ko dan Kudu ba yace yanzu in kuna son ku gane cewa waye shugaba na gari gidan sa yana ulsha tun da gama mulkin sa na gwamna gidan sa yana ulsha babu dan sanda babu soja yace kuma kuma yana da yata ku ku je ku gane wani idan ku mutumin da bai zauna lafiya da al'umar sa ba ya za a yi kuma ya gama mulki mai koma kawarin sa ya je zauna yace na al'umar sa akwai mutuwa siyasa duba da ana gudu lokacin ya riga ya cin mana akwai yan takarkarin nan misali wanda ka ke faruwa mun san maganar yanke yanke mun san maganar cushe cushe mun san maganar datsa datsi mun san maganar dukunkune dukunkune da irin wa'annan abubuwa makamantar su sannan yace kuma cin hanci da rashuwa yana da daga cin ka dauki kwangila ka ba muku sancin ka ko ka ba wa kanka ko ai dan wakin zage kana da kamfani ba su nan ka ne a ciki ba kowa in an ga an kone Yes, in some, he said I was entitled to that said I want to give my services for free. Okay. In an emperor state, it was a different case. They brought the law for me to sign as a governor, showing the benefits that the head governors would get. And I said, to be free serving to go, you must have a second job where you go to. And that's what. I did. And it there. to go And I'm to go to the Christa yake zuwa ya ce fa ne a ce dan shi Christa ne abin tumatar din da zai saya an yi masa rigi kamar yadda babu wata kasuwa da musulmi zai je sayan kaya a ce saboda shi musulmi ne zai sayi kayan nan a rahu safiya da Christa ya ce wannan wani kullukulla ne da kuma hasada da makirci na manya manya na kasa wanda ba za mu iya kiransu da tijero sai dai mu ce musu da takai wanda suke gurkan talakawa yayin da ake bukatar kurkunsu su zo su yi magana su ce a a wannan namu ne wannan ba naku bane amma wannan da suke rigima 
koshi ibo ni koshi bere be ni ko ba haushe ni ko tibi ni in an koma abuja akan tebur e suke cin abinci akai suke shan barbesu anan suke shan shayi amma in sun dawo garu don mu za su zo su dauko wadancan abubuwa da suke amfani da shi don mu su yi mana farako a shirin mu a saboda haka ya ji a hankalin mutane cewa baya son a zabe shi domin shi krista duk wani krista da zai zabe shi in dai zai zabe shi ne a matsayin sa na krista to ba sa kuri a haka kuma duk wani dan north south east wato dan kudu maso gabashin kasar nan da bangaren su da ya fito idan zai zabe shi ne a matsayin sa na mutumin ibo to baya bukatar a zabe shi akan wannan a a mataki amma kowaye zai zabe shi a doke shi a auna shi aga na farko ya halayyarsa take kuma halayyar nan za a iya koma ba a ga yaye mulki a lokacin da ya a number shekara takwas ya saci kudi da ya bar gwamnatin nan an biyo shi an masa bice da kulli an kai petition din sa EFCC ko ICPC ana neman kudin al'umma a hannun sa ya yau da resu in aka duba a haka abin da yayi to shi wanda shi ake kira mai kaman zuwa akan aika sannan kuma a duba menene dacewarsa a matsayin sa na shugaba sannan ya jajircewar sa take a matsayin sa da mutumin da ya yadda da wani kuduri da kuma aqida da zai ba da shugabanci na gari kuma ya tsaya akan sa inda ya wancan shugabanci da kuma inda zai zo nan wajen sannan kuma yayin magana akan cewa an yau da mutane da dama a baya akan maganar mai gaskiya akan magana mai ruwan amana yace to mutumin da zai iya kawo tsaro a ƙasa ya ba da misali yanzu ai dan arewa ne yake wannan mulki kuma lokacin da dan arewan nan ya zo lokacin da dan kudi yake mulki da ni da ni dan nan ni engineer Bashir na zargi president Jonathan kuma nayi iya kokari na daga cewa an kau da president Jonathan daga matsayin shugaban kasa domin duk a lokacin tunanin da ake cewa akwai wata makarkashiya da ake wa arewa amma kun kun sani ni ma na sani zamanin president Jonathan ya fi wannan zamanin da muke ciki domin lokacin ba a satar mutane zan tashi daga Kaduna ko daga Kano da Asuba da tafi Kaduna daga Kaduna zan tashi da Asuba da tafi Abuja wani irin wace irin kasa ce da ta'al aka yi mata Allah wadai da za ta kashe biliyoyin dala biliyoyin dala ayi titin dogo na jirgi daga Kaduna zuwa Abuja amma wasu tsararin mutane su zo su tada wannan wajen a ce yau kudin shiga da gwamnatin tarihi za ta samu a wannan wasu tsarari masu bindiga sun hana wannan jirgin kasa da zai je wuce saboda haka ya yi bayanin cewa magana ce ta a samu mutumin da yake da kuduri da kuma jajircewa zai shugaba kuma wannan abu ya bar shi a kudi ba ta ya ce ni fita kudi ne ne wannan ba al'umma su duba wannan ni ne zan yi wasali akan rubutun da yake akwai a an ba ni mutu edo Allah a cikin shugabannin da suka fito yanzu a takara su su hudu ne wanda ake magana suke gaba gaba akwai shugaban dan takarar shugaban kasa na PDP wazirin Adama Tifu akwai dan takarar shugaban kasa na APC Ashwa Jibula Ahmed Tinubu akwai shi dan takarar shugaban mu Dr. Peter Obi sannan kuma akwai Rabi Musa Kwanto duk cikin mutanen nan Tinubu lokacin da ya dawo Najeriya ina Lagos ina aiki a kamfanin mai amma motar da zai shiga ma in ka ga ta tawo motar ta fita sai yanzu jiragen su na shiga guda biyu ne ko wannan su dala miliyan 55 ake sai da shi ba mu san wanda ya mutu ba masa gado ba ba mu san shagon magabatan sa da suka bari yake yin wannan ba da shugaban kasa a cikin matan takarar shugaban kasa a cikin mun san ba kasuwanci yayi ba 
aikin gwamnati aikin custom kuma aikin custom dama kun san maganin barayin hanya ne saboda haka akwai lauje a cikin nadi kowannen su in kuka daga su yanzu wataƙila suna da kudin da zasu iya bawa kasar nan su budget daga cikin aljihu su mutan na kuma san ba su da kamfani ba su da injin buga kudi ba kuma su da ifritu wanda yake bebo kudaɗi ya kawo musu shi kuma wannan namu na kusa da mu wanda yake Kano shi ma mun san yadda ya shigo da irin kayan da yazo da irin abin da yake da shi kuma dukkan nan su kowannen su mun san irin jukiyoyi na al'umma da suka kwana da shi suke amfani da shi wajen kampen da su yan kurkuku shi kuma mun san an takarar mu mutum ne sahihi an kasuwa ne yadda ya shiga gwamnati da fitowar sa kowa in aka daura shi a suke ne an san cewa abin da ya shiga da shi ko dai haka ya fito da shi ko kuma kasar haka amma bai dauke kudin al'umma ba saboda haka mutane su yi wa kansu alƙalanci su tabbatar da cewa an jera yan takarar nan gabaki daya su jinjina su ji wacce kaza ce mai kai ya <laughs> ya ce idan mutum ya ce zai ba ka riga mai ba haushe ce ka duba tauyan sa to ya excellency you made a very valid person that of all the presidential candidates anyone that comes here talks about fighting corruption and uh, this has been a terrible thing uh, to the development or rather under development of our country in Nigeria what are you going to do different So I told him I said before you answer him uh, when we were having dinner today you made mention of this same point but uh, I summarize what you told us there in the proverb in Hausa okay, you have said it okay yes yeah, no you are going to say it sir but I summarize what you have said you know I said there's a proverb in Hausa which says if somebody says he's going to give you a shirt or the cloth what you should first do is to look at the one he's wearing so you should go ahead sir okay sorry no problem no problem it's alright well like i said the question corruption is one of the critical things we need to deal with some of the things that is affecting our economy adversely today corruption kills entrepreneurship kills professionalism kills hard work because what it did is that it breeds wealth without the enterprise that is why millions of our young people are unemployed and you know can and the entire not she gets has a lot have a lot of unemployed young people who don't know where the next meal will go but what i say is when people say they fight corruption when they talk about fighting corruption here about corruption perception in this is measured on management of public resources so 
If any of us is, I'm going to fight corruption, like I said, I'll fight it head off. Let's look at first how they managed their last or where they are coming from. Because we have all been opportuned to certainly the key candidates to have managed somewhere. Governor of the state, how did you manage the resources of the state from land allocation, use of their assets, and their monetary resources, appointments? Are you giving appointments to your families, relations, friends, when they are not qualified. When you are locating land to your family, to your friends, how did you manage the monetary resources of the state? What are things to measure? Were you taking con were you taking contracts, giving yourself contracts, were you benefiting? For example, being an advisor, a consultant to the state while you are in charge. This is against the ethics of governance. Ethics where I'm involved, the closest person to me is from the north, so I can't so, Keno is your second home. I have, even in the military, the closest serving man that I have, uh, the North, who are my friends, who I deal with, who I talk with on a daily basis. Let us save and build a 